this video, we'll be looking into the definition of grammar and uh, the types of grammar based on the Chomsky hierarchy. So firstly, understanding the definition of grammar, grammar G can be defined as combination of four tuples that is V, T, P, S, where V refers to the non-terminals, the set of non-terminals. T is T comprises of set of terminals. P tells us the set of productions or the rules and S depicting the start symbol of the grammar. Here we the non-terminals are always in uppercase and the set of terminals are always in the lowercase. So with this basic understanding of grammar, now let's look into the classification. So Chomsky was a uh, American scientist who classified the grammar, who classified the grammar on the basis of their complexities. So he classified the grammar into four types that is type 0, type 1, type 2 and type 3. So type 0 uh, can be written, uh, type 0 grammar is also called as the unrestricted grammar. Type 1 uh, is also called as the context sensitive grammar. Type 2 is called as context free grammar. And type 3 is the regular grammar. Now let's look into uh, the each uh, types of grammars one by one. So first we have type 0 grammar. So type 0 grammar is also called as unrestricted grammar. So type 0 grammar uh, accepts recursively uh, enumerable languages. So these languages uh, are further accepted in the Turing machines. So here uh, any grammar of the form alpha derives beta where alpha and beta belongs to V union T star. Here V is the non-terminals and T is the set of terminals. So here this when the grammar is of this form alpha derives beta. So here in this condition it's called as un unrestricted grammar. So union of V union T star. Okay. So here we need to understand that there is no restriction on alpha and beta but one uh, rule is that there has to be at least one non-terminal in LHS side that is in the alpha so here if we take an example like B that is uppercase non-terminal is there yes and A followed by that this is this could be the set of terminals lowercase B A derives uh, here you can write C, D or uh, anything okay or it could be just a single non-terminal derives lambda or db or anything so this is type 0 grammar now let's look into type 1 grammar that is also called as context sensitive grammar
So, any production that uh, belongs of the form alpha derives beta uh, such that alpha and uh, beta belongs to V union T star is called as context uh, sensitive grammar. So here uh, any language which obeys the context sensitive grammar is called as context sensitive language. So this language is accepted or used in the linear bounded automata. So here uh, we have one restriction that is the length of beta should be greater than greater or equal to length of alpha and there has to be at least one non-terminal in LHS side. So uh, considering an example, so here beta mod of beta that is mod of beta like the length of the, the, the length of beta should be greater than the length of alpha. So this is the basic condition of context sensitive grammar. So if it look at an example, A derives BDA BAC. So here the length of beta is greater than length of A, right? So yes. Or we can take another example. A derives uh, let's write x okay so the length is equal so in this case also it is a uh, context sensitive grammar so now let's look into the uh, type 2 that is context free grammar context free grammar now let's look into the type 2 that is context free grammar any production of the form A derives alpha where A belongs to the non-terminal that is V and uh, alpha belongs to V union T star. So is said to be the context free grammar and any language obeying this is called as context of free language. So here this context free language is used in pushdown automata. So here we have condition that is mod of alpha should be less than mod of beta that is the length of alpha should be less than or equal to mod of beta and alpha should belong to the V yes we have seen and along with that we have mod of alpha should be equal to 1. So on LHS it has to be always 1. So let's look into an example that is D derives alpha or AA or it could be A derives AC or anything. So this is type 2 uh, that is context free grammar. Now looking into the type 3 that is the regular grammar. So any production of the form alpha derives beta or here let's take uh, A derives B b w w where w belongs to t star that is the terminal set of terminals and a comma b belongs to the v that is the non terminals is said to be left linear grammar so for left linear grammar we have the condition as a derives b w w so here a non-terminal is followed by the terminal, right? So uh, looking into the, this was left linear grammar. Looking into the right linear grammar, we can write it as uh, A derives W, B, W. So here a non-terminal is, here. so here a terminal is followed by the non-terminal. So this is the right linear grammar. So this type of grammar is used in the finite state machine. So this was about uh, the regular grammar. This was about the regular grammar. So here uh, we can broadly classify or conclude the types of grammar with a diagram. That is, we first we have type 0, 
that is the no no let's start from the type 3 that is regular grammar then we have the type 2 that is the context free grammar followed by that we have the type 1 that is context sensitive grammar then we have the type 0 that is the unrestricted grammar so here these grammars are being used or the regular grammar is used in uh, finite state machines so the cfg that is context free grammar is used in push down automata followed by that the csg context sensitive grammar is used in the linear bounded automata and the unrestricted grammar is used in the Turing machines so I hope the types of grammar was clear like this topic was clear if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you